Hello everyone, this is Will Ferrigno with Assurance Power Systems, America's premier generator provider. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how to do a load calculation using our Gen Sizer tool to size a generator system for your home. Step one is to go to our homepage at assurancepower.com and right here you'll see the Gen Sizer icon. If you go ahead and click that, it'll take you to the next section which gives us a couple of options. Okay, so doing a load calculation, we have two options. Uh, we have an essential load calculation and a whole house calculation. But doing an essential load calculation is for designing a system where you're not going to power all of the loads in your home. You're going to be powering an emergency sub-panel of circuits that will come on during a utility outage. Whole house calculation is used to calculate the load of your entire home, which is becoming the most common way to use a generator system because of the load management. And load management is essentially the process of controlling or managing loads such as appliances, AC units, while under generator power so we don't overload the generator system. And this is actually a part of the new National Electrical Code. So let's start there with the whole house load calculation. If you click here on whole house calculation, it brings us to the Gen Sizer application window. And step one once we're in here is to type your name uh, or a job name or whatever you'd like to associate. So right now we'll just type uh, APS load calc test one. Uh, I think we have to spell that out. Okay. All right. Step one here uh, is to do the square footage of your home. And this, um, depending on the building department, you know, they may actually look at the property record. So you want to be as accurate as possible in this, in this area here. So let's go ahead and assume we have a 3,500 square foot house. And you can see what's happening. As soon as you start typing, it's applying a formula and that's three watts per square foot and again that is based on the National Electrical Code requirement. So now that we've done our square footage we can go on to step two which is appliances and other loads uh, sometimes called motor loads. So if you click this red box here to add an appliance we can basically add each appliance one at a time. We can go through the list of common appliances. So uh, let's get the refrigerator, go ahead and get the washer, and obviously every home has different loads, but we're going to assume that we're dealing with a, um, an electric uh, system here, so we don't have any gas appliances, just, to, just to, as an example. So we've got our washer and our dryer. Uh, let's go ahead and get the garbage disposal, garage door opener, we'll go for the range. Let's see what else we can add here for loads. Uh, maybe we have a central vac system. As you can see, we have a very comprehensive list of appliances, and for those uh, that may not be in here, another option. Uh, let's go ahead and add the sump pump. Okay, so let's assume that we've got our standard appliances, um, and we can now go to step three, which covers the air conditioning and heating. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and assume that we have a central AC system, a three-ton uh, air, air compressor, a... 10 kW heat strip. This is for those homes that might have electric heating and have an electric heat element. Uh, let's go for a two zone system. We're going to have a, a second zone that's maybe a two ton and a 5 kW heat strip, which is kind of a common setup. So the National Electrical Code actually requires you to take the greater of your cooling and, and heating loads, and this Gen Sizer tool takes that into account. So now that we've done that, you can see a summary of, of the total calculated load, and you can see that we're coming up with 27,000 watts, uh, just over 112 amps. So based on that, it's telling us for the whole home, the minimum generator size needed would be a 30 kW generator system. Now right under that, uh, as you can see, a load management summary. And under total managed load, you can see that we don't have anything selected here. So it's giving us the same size generator uh, under this scenario. So again, based on what I told you about load management, which is the process of managing those loads so that they don't come on during generator power, what we can do is choose those loads up here that we may want to have managed in order to mi minimize the size of our generator system. So let's go ahead and, and choose maybe our, uh, our dryer, which is a, a high heating element load, uh, and so is the range. And you can see what happens down here to the load management summary as I'm doing that. Uh, we're now managing 12,680 watts of load, and so it's reducing the size of the generator that we need to be able to do that. Um, and now that we're looking at the air cooled, we're also going to be needing to probably manage one of these AC zones for motor, for motor load reasons. 
And that's something that you need to talk to uh, an insurance power systems design professional to make sure that you're taking into effect into account those motor loads. So I'm going to go ahead and select, select um, one of these uh, system, uh, one of these AC systems. Okay, and you can see that the total generator load is now minimized. Um, and again, we may need to increase the size of this generator to account for the motor load capacity, you know, starting requirements of this AC system. So now that we've done this and we've got a load calculation, you can actually export this right to a PDF so you can email it, save it, print it, what have you. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose that and you can see that it makes it a PDF and I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see what it looks like. So this is the PDF screen of the uh, generator load calculation tool. And uh, this is a very effective tool, uh, something that's essential to sizing your standby generator system. And again, I, you know, I encourage all of you to uh, go on here and, and you know, do your best, but it's always best to consult with a licensed electrician or one of the insurance power systems design professionals. If you have any questions, feel free to call us or visit our website at www.assurancepower.com. You can call us on our 800 number at 877-499-9500. Thanks again for visiting Assurance Power Systems.